The following video has been designed to help you clean and disinfect your Burton's bronchoscope. At the end of the clinical procedure, remove the gross contamination from the patient tube. Detach the light guide cable from the endoscope. Be careful because the endoscope connected into the light box, this probe can be hot and I suggest that you let it cool down before you immerse it. Remove the adapters from the end of the light guide cable. And if using the wolf adapter, you also need to remove the collar from the light guide post. Be careful that you don't lose this. This area will need to be cleaned. Connect the leak tester to the endoscope and perform a leak test before you immerse the scope. Make sure the needle is set at zero and inflate to approximately 12 o'clock, which is in between 140 and 160 millimetres of mercury, or the green safe zone. Move the lever on the scope up and down to ensure you're not masking any small holes or perforations at the distal tip. If the needle holds steady, the scope is fine to be immersed. Depressurise the scope by pressing the button and detach the leak tester from the endoscope. Place your endoscope into your pre-prepared enzymatic made up to your manufacturer's dilution rates and remove the biopsy cap. This also needs to be cleaned and brushed through. Connect your flushing adapter to the biopsy port and flush enzymatic down through the channel of the scope until you see enzymatic coming out of the end. Leave the endoscope to soak for half of its allotted time. At the end of half of its allotted time, remove the flushing adapter and pass the cleaning brush directly down through the channel of the scope. The double-ended cleaning brushes are a pull-through system and that facilitates two brushes in one. Repeat this process as many times as you need to until you're confident that all the clinical pathology has been removed from the channel of the scope. Reconnect up your flushing adapter to the biopsy port and flush enzymatic through the channel. This will remove any free-floating pathology that has not been pushed out with the cleaning brush. Discard your enzymatic and prepare your cleaning station or your tray with clean water and flush clean water down through the channel of the scope to remove any trace elements of uh, enzymatic. Refill your cleaning station with your pre-prepared disinfectant and flush disinfectant down through the channel and leave to soak for your allotted time. Make sure that the scope is fully immersed, pay particular attention to the eyepiece and also to the distal end. Once your endoscope has been disinfected, refill your cleaning station with clean distilled or purified water and flush that down through the channel of the scope to remove any trace elements of disinfectant. To ensure that your endoscope is dry before you leave it stored hanging up, take your syringe and just flush some fresh air down through the channel of the scope until you have removed any excess water. The scope is now dry and can be stored hanging up. Reconnect your adapter and use some lint-free tissue to dry your endoscope. Pay particular attention to the lenses at the proximal end and the distal end to make sure you're not leaving any trace elements of pathology or disinfection which can cause cloudiness on the scope. Scope is now ready to be stored hanging up till the next time you need to use it.